Welcome back everyone, Crimson the Nurture here, time for some more Observer. So I'm excited to dig into more of this game, so let's get back into it, see what's happening. We just finished um, in our estranged son's apartment. I think that's who that guy was anyways. Whether or not the dead bodies are estranged son, I don't know. A headless corpse laid in apartment 7, unable to identify the victim, damn, assumed the worst. But the murder seemed to have been committed before Adam's distress call. Clinging to hope, Dan heads back to the building's twisted hallways to find out what happened to his son. First to order of business, find the woman who called the victim. Her initials are HN. Alright. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. I know it. Probably right. Um, sounds bad. So my case log has been updated. Interrogate the neighbors is an option. Let's do it. Why not? What is this? Unlicensed modification detected. Remain in your apartments and await further instructions. I don't know what the value of doing this is, but I'm trying it anyways. That something? Acts like it's something, but probably missing it, whatever it is. Alright, what just happened? Is that over now? Lockdown's over? Oh, here we go. Alright. Got a minute, sir. KPD. That seems like that probably didn't work out. Alright, let's try this person. Hi, this is Tom. And Irene! <laughs> we hope you're having a positively peachy day. Oh, we sure do! Sadly, we're not in right now. <laughs> but you can leave your message after These the people are insufferable. We'll get back to you as soon as we're home. Yeah! Oh, I mean, beep. <laughs> and I read. We hope oh, but oh, I can click through those things. That's good to know. Keep that in mind for the future. What is this? Oh, a communal bathroom. Gross. Who's this? Damien Sukowski. It's a repo man. Apparently, I'm going to keep that. Okay. KPD, I need to talk to you. Get away from me, man. I got a piece on me, and I ain't afraid to use it. No, you don't. Now, calm down. I'm just looking for some answers. Oh, I know how you get your answers. I got nothing to tell you. I don't know why I'm scanning all these things. It just seems like what I'm supposed to do. Hmm. No, that person's not going to answer. No. Alright. These people, man. Don't they understand? I'm a police officer, I got business things to do. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. 
No external connection. Not much we can do. Shit. Sounds serious. So Hey, somebody uh, mildly helpful. <clears throat> you wanted to ask me something? Noticed anything suspicious recently? Anyone hanging around in the hallways? No, not really. Then again, I don't really go out much. Uh, uh, hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're going to fix the connection. Uh, not that it's like super important to me <laughs> or anything. I just need to know. You just take it easy. I'm sure someone is already working on it. Oh, good. It's just that it feels weird to just sit here <laughs> alone with my thoughts. I need to be distracted, you know, man. Can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. You've been living here long? Oh, well, I, uh, uh, it must have been at least seven or eight years. Ever had a lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Well, what do you want to talk about? Um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. Sounds like you are. Of course, I don't know who won since my projector <laughs> went out. <sighs> Why are my hands shaking? He's in projector withdrawal. Sorry, right. I don't have to. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here alone. <laughs> God, I'm really starting to sweat. I like this <laughs> idea of this guy not being able to handle the fact that he's alone. Hang in there. All right, so that guy was mildly helpful. Nice eye. What is it? What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? No. A malfunction, more likely. You would say that, wouldn't you? To keep us at bay until the cleaners come. <laughs> oh, that's what that guy oh, meant by cleaners. They're coming for me. I don't want to die. Calm down. No one's. So oh. All right, so telling him that was a mistake, apparently. Nobody in that one. Ooh, another bathroom. Look slowly. All right, so there was like a break in the wall over here. Yeah, this spot right here. Hey, PD, I need to talk to you. You broke it! No, you broke it! Nuh-uh! Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here. Yeah, what's this about? Do you know the tenant in apartment seven? Dad, Tommy's picking on me. Damn shut kids. Up, snitch. I thought I told you to shut up. Seven, huh? Nah, can't say that I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well. Seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? Maybe. What's it to you? Police business, or might be my son. Let's uh, let's my be son friendly. Might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. You shut up! No, you shut up! <laughs> no, you! I swear, if you don't shut up... Sounds like a family man. Uh, yeah, I can tell. So, can you describe him, or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium built. He wasn't very memorable. Is everything all right in there? What? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know how Didn't want to accuse him of anything. Kids. Didn't realize that. Do I? Yeah. You got to be strict with them, or they'll just walk all over you. Usually, I just sit them down in front of the projectors, keep them nice and quiet. But the thing just went and died on cheap American crap. Yeah, we're the worst. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? 
Many strangers skulking around. Nah, I don't pay much attention to the other tenants. Bunch, Bunch of, of losers. losers. A lot of. You're so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh uh, you're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. You bet your ass. <laughs> Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yes. Good for you. Good luck with that. All right. Anything of interest in this room that look we want to scan? I suppose we can scan this door. Same as all of them. No biologics. Oh, hello. Hang on. Anophage and I. Nobody home. I guess they just broke through the walls to, uh, gain them themselves some more, uh, living apartment space. I think that's what I'm supposed to, uh, Infer from this. Synchrosine collected. How's my levels doing, by the way? Oh, looks like we're fine. Hello. Gonna get it all? Yeah, baby. Anything? Nope, nope, nothing. So I can open this door now? Yes. Oh, it just crosses into the next area. Attention, parent, your child can't touch a hologram. The latest series of educational connect toys help improve their imagination and central nervous system. Come on, open. What do we have here? Apparently nothing. Please. Oh. Just Hello. want to talk. Who are you? Did Chiron send you? I'm with the KPD, if that's what you're asking. Seriously? We haven't had a cop around these parts in... ever, I guess. Well, you've got one now. Yeah, good luck. You're gonna fucking need it. Well, that's not very helpful. Case log updated. Identify the caller. I guess that's all the interrogating I need to do. I assume from that fact that the optional thing went away. Is, is Mom gonna be all right? RC device. Enable to trace source. Door unlocked. Hello? Anybody in here? Remove your plant. Fuck. Uh oh. What's that? I don't know what's going on, but. Personal computer. Is there anything else in here? Do I need to take this stuff? I don't know if this. Yes. Synchrony injected. Strain level decreased. Let me see here. 
So that didn't really change. I wonder what that, if that was... Voices from below, don't believe their lies, the plague is still out there. This little scroll thing doesn't work very well. Fellow undesirables, if you're not up to date with Chiron propaganda, you probably heard your so-called Minister of Health spout out another gem of corporate wisdom. For those who didn't know, let me catch up to speed. To all those who have given in to the insurgent fear-mongering, I say again, there is absolutely no need for concern. The nanophage is no longer a threat. We have contained the glitch and thus freed ourselves from the disease. Loyal citizens who support responsible augmentation have nothing to be afraid of. Three words. Bull fucking shit. Let me tell you how things are. Unless you're one of the lucky class A fucks with, shiny set of, with a shiny set of mods, in which case you're probably not reading this, the nanophage is still very real. We've had at least three confirmed cases in the past year, one of which led to a small-scale outbreak. Luckily, we managed to contain it before it spread beyond control. Now, you might think cases ain't nothing to get excited about. Three cases. If so, I can tell you you've never been in an outbreak. For most of us, cooped up in Class C districts, even a single instance is one too many. Okay, so what the hell are you supposed to do? First and foremost, it's better to be to prevent than cure. Given the phage recovery rate, these words should be considered gospel. Once the plague hits, it's usually too late. So if you want to stay safe, look for the symptoms. Fever. Pay attention to the slightest bumps in your body temperature. Phage starts off bar slow, barely noticeable, more than a flu. Oh, come on. There. So if you're feeling a bit under the weather, get your ass to a local clinic and run a scan. Better safe than sorry. Implant irregularities. This might get tricky. Assuming that, like most of us, you can't afford to run regular mod maintenance, you've probably gotten used to a jolt from your neural implant or a slight spasm in your artificial arm. However, if these start to occur at an increased rate, you need to check yourself. Erratic behavior. Once in a while, try to look away from the projector and take a gander at your neighbors. If any of them are acting weirder than usual, babbling to themselves, walking crooked, they might be something afoot, assuming they're not drunk or high. A bit of civic awareness won't kill you. A lack of it might. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Junction inflammation. Okay, so the skin at the base of your implant turns red and starts to itch. The bad news is you might be infected. The good news is it's not a death sentence. Our clinics have performed numerous extraction surgeries, and unlike the corporate cleaners, most of our patients tend to leave the operating room alive. As long as there are no nanite punctures, it's still not too late. If there are, you're most likely too busy hallucinating and puking blood to notice. If you spot any of these symptoms yourself or anyone in the neighborhood, contact one of our clinics. And here's what I definitely don't want to do. Don't panic. Chances are it's still not the phage. We have dozens of false reports and alleged outbreaks. Don't be an idiot. It's the last couple of months we've had dozens of incidents of violence aimed at suspected carriers. Guess what? It doesn't solve anything. Once the disease takes root, we're all in this together. Don't report it. I cannot stress this enough. The cleaners are not your friends. They're com not coming for you to help you. Uh, scroll, scroll bar, scroll bar. There we go. Best case scenario, they'll lock down the entire building and go through it with fine-tooth comb, using the outbreak as an excuse to compensate subversive materials and detain undesirables. Worst case scenario is the ones who don't slaughter outright will end up as guinea pigs for Chiron HD. If it comes to that, do yourself a favor and pack it in. Jump out a window, blow your brains out, doesn't matter how. You won't thank me later, but you'll regret it otherwise. Alright, no mail. Following message could not be delivered. Dear, my dear Annie, by the time you read this, I will no longer be among the living. The details are not important. Just know that I went out on my own terms. I won't ask for a proper burial. God knows you don't owe me anything. By the time the cleaners are done with this place, I doubt there will be anything left of me to bury. Just know that for all my faults, I've always loved you, just like I loved your mother when the disease took her. Part of me died that day. Simple displays of affection became foreign concept. Painful reminder of what I had lost. It does not justify what I've put you through, but it is the truth. I'm so happy you've managed to get out of this hellhole and find someone worthy of your love. I wish you both the best. Love, Dad. Oh, it's kind of sad. No documents. Wait, with fire and sword spiders. Oh my god, is there a mini game in this game? Does this work? Alright, so I'm controlling it this way, but is there like an attack button? Whoops. 
Alright, apparently I accidentally backed out of it. <laughs> so it's like a, it's kind of a puzzle game it looks like. Can I kill them both with, if they're on one tile? I can, okay. <laughs> Neat. Alright, so apparently there's only those two levels right now. I assume we'll probably find more of those in the future. Floppy disks? That seems unlikely in this cyberpunk future. Alright, I guess that's all for in here. Hey, bird. Hmm. Janet left the door open. That's this is not a janitor's office. Synchrosine refilled. A thing. Time to read this whole thing. Quest Denial. Dear Mr. Jerkowski, while we all greatly appreciate your exemplary service and sacrifices you've made for our, your country, the VRI policy enforces a strictly proactive stance on helping our brave veterans reintegrate with society. Regular coverage requires a deed of permanent B-class employment pres presented to your, our representative on an annual basis. Your current janitorial position simply does not qualify. Given these circumstances, we must sadly deny your claim and therefore force to terminate your participation in the program effective immediately. As of today, the Veteran Pension Fund will no longer cover periodic maintenance of your cybernetic prosthetics. We wish you all the best. Veterans Rehabilitation in Initiative. This is not an maiden message. Do not reply. All right, enough is enough. Veteran or not don't give a crap anymore. One more message and I'll find you and beat the fucking junk out of you. My mother can no longer take this shit. She's sick of you telling you of telling you over and over that her husband, my father, died 18 years ago. She moved on. We all have. No one wants to live in the past to constantly relive tragedy. So for the last time, Mike Jarowski is dead. He's been dead for a long time. Have someone type that into your busted ass head of yours. I don't care how you do it. This is fucking remember this time, even if it's a toss up between this and remembering when to take a dump, because the next message you send me will earn you a broken jaw. Consider this your final warning. I should probably read this, but I'm not going to do that right now. <laughs> Documents. Ground floor. Alright, I don't know if we need to. Oh, hello. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment one or. And had a nader in apartment 106. 104 and 106. Also on the same floor. 104 and 106. Okay. Uh, do you have more levels? Oh, you have level 3. This is clearly the most important thing for us to be doing right now. Who cares about the future of humanity? In whatever weird case it is we're working on. I don't know what my dog's barking about. Barking about something. Guess my wife will figure it out. I don't know how we get in. We're not going to succeed in this one. Oh well. Let's try it one more time. I have an idea. We'll see. So 
So I think we have to kill this one by itself. But then I think you can... Oops, don't walk right in though. No. Alright, whatever. We're gonna go exit this game because we don't really have time for this right now. Nothing else in here? You get out. Ah! You again. Oh, scared the crap out of me. Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh, yeah? Back during war, took one alive. Sent for one. Now for you. To get into his head. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Hit our convoy. <laughs> Barreled through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. What can you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Uh, uh, tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah. Maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. All the implants. Bad the implants. I take it, Rudy is the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone. Don't lose it. What? Mm. Wonders of sometimes. Need to track manually. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate, accommodate, alleviate. Let's get right in there, man. Let's just get right in there. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. All right, I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh, uh -huh. Assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Nasty. Yeah, Let's stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Huh? Name? Janice. Like a Roman god. <laughs> you know. Sorry I gave you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janice. He's just called him Janice. He just told you his name was Janice. Don't call him Janice. Alright, I'm going to stop here um, for today, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.